a limit day. One, two, three, four, a limit day. <laughs> My name is Joanna. I'm a student at Sacramento City College, and I'm in training to be a boxer. I'm not in a relationship right now because I recently got out of a horrible three-year relationship, so I'm on a mission, and I'm gonna find myself a guy, and I'm gonna love him to death. What I look for in a guy, he has to be goofy, as goofy as me, and he has to be, he has to make me laugh, definitely. This date's gonna be fun because I'm gonna work these boys or I'll beat them up. A limited. <laughs> Sacramento is a great place to live in because the people here are friendly, it gets super hot in the summer, there's a lot of bars, and we have the river. I chose this sack for my date because it's a landmark and it looks like the Old West and I don't think there's another place as unique as this. Alright boys, it's both about spring, so you better bring your game. I stay up late all the time watching infomercials because I think I'm going to invent one of those things and make a million dollars. My name is Joel and my personal idol is Mr. Ronco. Gotta love those food dehydrators. How you doing? Hi. My name's Joel. Joel, nice to meet you, Joanna. Hi. You look nice. Thanks. I really don't think there's any type of competition. Uh, when I step up to the plate, it's over. I'm taking over the world and this date. My name's Jason, and I'm a barber. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Hi. I'm Jason. Jason, nice to meet you, Joanna. Nice to meet you. Hi. How you doing? Doing good. You look great. Thank you. My goal is to retire in 10 years. I've worked really hard to where I'm supposed to be at, and I'm just looking for a girl to share that with. My name is Brian. I'm a little bit cocky, but at least I have reason to be. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brian. Hi, Brian. What's your name? Joanna. <laughs> Joanna, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. You look nice. Thank you. You look gorgeous. Thank Urban you. cowboy. Nice milk chicken. Nice lighter in the hey, pocket. Hey, Fred Durst called. He wants his outfit back. Oh, yeah? Ooh, that's a good one there, bro. I'm one good-looking guy. Girls respond well to me, and, well, guys are just jealous of one I got. My name is Josh. My game's so unique, I don't even have a name for it. Who turns up your beard, your mom? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, she did. Yeah, I'm a Hi. barber. You should come check Hi. me out. That's pretty Hi. good. Josh. Great, because that's a nice haircut. Nice to meet you. I'm Joanna. Joanna? Nice yeah. to meet you, too. Here you go, guys. No, I don't need one. Oh, I don't want it. I'm, I'm, sure. not, I'm not down with that, shorty. Yeah, but I brought a hand so you guys didn't feel left out, so you had a hand to hold, you know what I mean? Oh! When Josh walked up with all the rubber hands, I thought it was pathetic, and he should have just left right there. I don't know why he got out of bed. So, uh, are we going in to get a drink now? Or? We are! We're gonna go and get drinks now. We're gonna go inside. The entrance is over here. All right, okay. Let's go. We're gonna start off at Fat City, and we're gonna kind of just ease the guys into the date. I have a question over yeah, quick. Maybe. I'm just wondering uh, about his shoes. Apparently he's got a Kmart on this side. That's and, pay less uh, on this side. And that's Kmart. pay less that he mows the lawn in on that side. I'm just curious about yeah. that, bro. You could you could have <laughs> worked he something has, out. He I mean, has an explanation, I'm sure. Let's hear I mean, what's um, going on. Well, I'm a desired guy and the last person that I was with got a little upset when it didn't quite work out and some got peed on, some got taken and What your shoes? Uh, lots of my clothes and well this is oh. this is what I have left. You got your shoes Why are you in a position on? where you're getting peed on? You're right. You got yeah. shoes? Wait, you got your heart broken? Watch where you that... touch. It might have been peed on. Um, <laughs> actually, I just got this from the thrift store. So, yeah. yeah. It's still has been peed on a few times. Hey, watched a couple times. Cool. As long as it wasn't peed on by me. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> um, wow. When he told me about his ex-girlfriend peeing all over his stuff, it made me just want to just get away. Josh and his two different shoes. Bro, your girlfriend took all your shoes and your clothes? Go shopping. How old are you? I'm 21. 21. Yeah. You guys? 25. 25? 21. Yeah. 28. 21. Wow, we got some geezers. Yeah, I'm a geezer. I'm experienced, <laughs> though, bro. Oh, I bet. You look like a geezer, though. Oh, I thanks. look a little younger than you when you're 21, bro. That's fine. And really, oh, after this is over, I'll give you a card. Come, come yeah, see please. me at the barbershop. Hi, are you hungry? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm starving. A little bit. Hold he can't on. afford yeah. to eat food since he's wearing the mismatched <laughs> shoes from the Payless. His yeah. girl took not only his clothes, but, ooh, but his food. Good. How about the jalapeno? I don't want the jalapeno. You know it's too hot for me right now. It's too You ready. might catch something, him digging around in there. Yes. Oh, my, I forgot wow. about that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, wait, we, we have my drink after We did another that. Bloody Mary over uh, here. Are you drunk? I know, he's looking kind You're of red. You're red. <laughs> yeah. That's a couple Are you cool? Because we're going to drink later. Oh, don't worry, girl. I'll be here all night. You, you can hang. Yeah. You're a heavy drinker. 
Yeah. Uh, he can hang. No, but I'll hang for the moment. Hang on. The Joanna's saying Josh was drunk was kind of hard to tell because you really can't tell the difference between drunk and stupid. Um, you guys, I have a little surprise for us outside. Let's oh. roll. Okay, Something I like cool. surprises. Mm-hmm. Let's go get a little oh. sip of that. Excuse me. All right, let's go. After we had a few drinks, I took the boys to a horse and buggy ride and we rode around old time. What's up with your past relationships? Have you guys ever been in one and why? First answer with that, have you guys ever been in a relationship? Uh, I mean, yes, I'm my sure. last girlfriend. Uh, things didn't exactly work out. She was real clingy. She liked to call me about 10 times a day and had nothing to say on the phone. Oh, how you long know. was that? How long uh, was that? About a year, year and a half. You? Yeah, yeah I've, uh, I date a lot, but I haven't had a long uh, relationship. Longest I had was about five months. Five months. Yeah, that's that's as long. Like they get boring. Sometimes. Love them and leave them. I want them. a girl's spice, like spontaneous ambition, you know. Mm -hmm. So Back five up. months, right? Five months. Yeah, that's, yeah. I just got out of a three-year relationship with Why? Miss Teen USA. So you go with it teens? Was me. It was like three years ago. She was nineteen. Oh, right. I so how old is she now? Uh, I mean, 18? you said how long? Uh, how old was 22, she? Twenty-two, nineteen. We've been together for about three and a half years. <laughs> what happened? We just broke up. Um, she got tired of being. Tired of those shoes. <laughs> she took his shoes. She all over my shit. She was a little too uh, literally. Literally, she I mean, it smells like it. But she was uh, what clean. kind of girls date? Yeah. Miss Teen USA is peeing on his stuff and leaving him with Kmart and Payless shoes. Somehow I have a hard time believing this. He's a BS artist. I think she dumped him because he's whack. Um, if you guys were in my shoes, who would you guys get rid of? I'm gonna say this guy right here because you seem like you're like a clean cut guy, and he just doesn't quite fit into the mold. Which one? Not I'm not clean, clean cut. cut at all. Yeah, yeah. Not I'm that not. he's clean cut. And I who mean, would you say? I'd say I'd say my friend Josh here. I'm sorry, yeah. man, but hey, watch cool, out for yeah, you. Yeah, this is cool. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's time you go find the other shoe. I should go that. too, huh? You yeah. think I should go? I got a shoe collection about 70 at the house. So wait, let me make sure all that all three of you guys think I should go? Yes. Yes. You're a winner in your head, huh? Yes. That's yes. what matters. Do you want to go? Girl, if you want me to leave, I'll leave. If you want me to stay here and hang out with you for a while, I'm more than happy. <laughs> oh, geez, Easy, man, Romeo. Dang, come on now. Yeah, Romeo. They all wanted me to be cut. Fellas, I mean, come on. Why, why, why me? What, I mean, what did I do? Coming up, who will Joanna cut first? I think Josh is gonna get cut first because he smells like pee. He's drank about a gallon of Patron and he has Mitch Matt shoes. He's out of here. Eliminate. <laughs> who do you think Joanna will eliminate first? Brian, Jason, Joel, or Josh? All right, guys, I had a whole bunch of fun. We went on a little horse and buggy ride. Unfortunately, the time has come. I have to get rid of one of you guys. And it's- Oh, please not me. It's so hard. Please not me. It's so hard. I'm going to have to pick Brian. Sorry, Brian. Just, Thank you. No, sorry. it's fine. I just, it's the okay. connection wasn't there. Everyone was really aggressive and the competitiveness. Pleasure. Thank you so much. You're a sweetheart. Take it easy, man. You know, I know my friends are going to give me hell over this, but you know what? They didn't put themselves out here and put their neck on the line. He's a sweetheart, but I want competition. I think Brian went wrong when he decided to tuck his shirt in and pull his pants up to his chest. You know, Joanna, have a lot of fun with these tools. I hope you have a good night. We're gonna take a little stroll on the boardwalk and we're gonna go to Rio City and have us some more drinks. Hopefully for round two, these guys fight really hard for me and show double the aggressiveness. What do you guys think about falling in love? I mean, do you guys see oh, yourself falling in love? Oh, the survey says that would be excellent. Actually, could you let her finish the question yeah. so we can actually yeah. hear well, the whole was, thing? Well, that was the question. It seemed to be like a two-parter. Who wants to go their whole lives without knowing what love is? You know what I mean? Were you in love? Would you would rather not know what love is? or know what love was. Know what love was, definitely. Know what love was, for sure. The reason why we're here is to sure. find a mate. Yeah. To find a mate? Mm -hmm. See what's so, going so on. So I should hurry see? up and happen. I'm tired of searching. So yeah. you can see yourself falling in love, not the short term, like. I think that's why I haven't had a long relationship. I'm kind of scared to fall into something. You really? Because like, I know I'll probably like. There's probably a lot of things he's scared of. And have you guys said I love you to somebody? Oh, or? totally, I've for been sure. in love. I've been in sure. love twice in my life. Twice? And it felt really good and it hurt really bad. Yeah. I'm still waiting to fall in love. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. There you go. Just waiting, I've, waiting, I've been... waiting for the right kind of girl. Exactly. Yeah. It's magical, though. It's magical. Right? Joel's a youngster. He doesn't know what he wants. I think he'd be happy to find anything that's willing to lay down with him. How would you approach me? 
at a bar or at a club. If at you a saw bar me. or a club. Would you approach me? I'd ask if you want to dance first. Oh, so there. you would just ask, you wouldn't introduce yourself or anything? You'd be just like, what's up, you want to dance? I would. Oh, I'm definitely not ghetto like that. I'm not going to say, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I'd what's introduce up, myself. So what's up is ghetto? With a handshake. That's not ghetto. Okay. I'm, he said it was. I'm, I know I'm saying, I'm telling him. I'm talking about it. apples, okay? Where did you get that? <laughs> I think he stole that no, I'm okay. when he took that napkin Adam. in his back pocket. You gloves and water and apples. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. oh, that okay. came from a restaurant. <laughs> you did not purchase that. Damn, bro, you're good. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just smart. Did you take a shot glass, too? Yeah. yeah. Patron in the back pocket? That's the apple. Where'd you get the apple? He found it on the last spot we were at. He found, found it, it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it was the one he of the- He picked it off the tree. No, it was one of the horses that we took the buggy ride on. Yeah, you found the food in the back. Let's go stop. Yeah? Hey, you need a couple bucks for some dinner later on? I got you if you need it, bro. Hold on, I think I forgot my- You want, you yeah. want a couple? What you need? Here, <laughs> buy some gum with that one. I gave Josh some money, because if you looked at his Mitch Matt shoes and his thrift store shirt, he really needed it. Jason, thanks for the money, bud. All right, you guys, we're here in Rio City. You guys ready to have some more drinks? For sure. Let's go. Yeah. Do you have any sure. hobbies or collections or anything like that? Yeah, dancing. I'm into the whole like hip hop slash trendy slash. I like to collect shoes. Shoes? Tennis shoes. I probably about 70 pair at the house that I've never even worn yet. Oh, really? About 20 just sitting around that I wear like all the time. Is that? Can I borrow a pair? What size you wear? <laughs> Actually, considering the way that you treat them and that they might get peed on, <laughs> I'm doubting that, bro. Yeah. He's got to be dating the right kind of girl, though, because I don't know. If he me off, I'd on his shoes, too. I had a girl. That <laughs> oh, so he you like that. It. Man, I knew you were yeah. Oh, yeah. All into that bondage freak, stuff, huh? Little freaky. Freak of the week. Speaking of freaky bondage, yo. I got a swinging bondage chair up on the roof of my house. Really? Wow. Uh -huh. wow. Nice. See that, Delta, that? see that Delta King right there? Yeah. Yeah. We've been on the roof of that. Oh, okay. Who's we? Who's we? You, you and your mom and or something? <laughs> you look like a little incest going. I mean, come on, be real. Me and my mom. You and the goats? Maybe. How do you live life without love or a bondage chair? If all of you guys were to probably get in a fight, who do you think would win? I like it, not all you guys at one time, but I'm saying one on one. Do you think you could kick his ass? I probably wouldn't fight either one of them. No? Tell you the truth. That's a smart man. I got 15 years of martial away? arts, and these guys registered deadly weapons. I'd probably be locked up for a while. I don't Those are registered? Those are registered? They're registered. Hold apples? I'm sure. I'm, I'm, sure, do with them. I'm sure you've killed a lot of things, bro, with them hands, but. Uh, I've rubbed a lot off, but I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure, sure that's cool. Damn, where'd you steal that from? <laughs> you got apples, Where you, you got napkins, and you got uh, Just bottle red. waters. Hold it's on, let like me make sure I got my wallet, Mary Poppins, my money, like, and my phone. Pocket. Bag of tricks, man. He's a liar and a thief. Because he stole some water, he stole some apples, and he stole a napkin. Who knows what else he has in his back pocket? Who will Joanna cut next? I think Josh is gonna get cut because he has no game. He's a klepto and he hasn't bathed in about a week. A limited. <laughs> Who is Joanna going to eliminate next? Jason, Joel, or Josh? All right, boys, we had a whole bunch of fun, I'm sure. What is that? Let me, can I have a piece? For sure. Okay. It looks dry, fruit finish. It's okay. Oh, um, okay. Well, we had fun. I'm gonna have to get rid of one of you guys, and it was so hard, I promise. But I'm gonna have to get rid of Josh. Hmm? Yeah. Well, all right, bro. You're a sweetie. Together, I had fun. Can I get a handy one, bro? Okay. Anyone? Sure. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Lysol. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Josh. All right, man. I cut Josh because, let's face it, he's over the top. Honestly, girl, you want to know what you're missing out on? Some juicy good fruit. Josh had no game. He was a kleptomaniac, and he smelled. I'm glad he's gone. Well, leaving with a nice little buzz. I got some orange on my breath and a dollar. I'm out. Three, we're gonna be going over to Faces, one of my favorite nightclubs. Should be pretty interesting. They're gonna show me their stuff, I'm gonna show them my stuff. 
thought Joanna's outfit was hot and sexy. It was revealing, but not too revealing. When I saw her, I wanted to pounce all over her, but I still had to be a gentleman. Joanna's dancing was bananas. She had moves for days. When Jason started backing his ass up into Joanna, I think I heard the beeper going off. I got clear out of the way. Joel could not dance, so I was taunting him a little, seeing what he could do, what kind of moves he had, and they were garbage. I knew Jason didn't have a body like mine, so I had to take my shirt off, because I know he couldn't compete. Jason should have probably left his shirt on, because he wasn't as toned as Joel was. After the dancing, we came out to the private patio and chilled with a couple more drinks. I seen you guys take off his shirt. I mean, obviously, you guys work out. I mean, do you guys uh, work out, or what is it? I just run. You run? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, how much I, do you run, though? Like, how much do your mailbox back, often? or what? How often? Every day, about half a mile mm -hmm. in the morning. That's Dude, it. step it up like five times. Come on. That's okay. What do you, what do, you do? I, I go to Why the don't gym. you get a little bit of experience in life? Stop working out so at the gym. Meet some, some, meet some you know, women. Oh, man, you're about to retire. Oh, yeah. I'm just starting out new. You haven't even started out, bro. We you're 21 and haven't even been in love. You've been in the bed with one chick, and she probably so broke So she wants you someone off. that's been broken hearted like three times, like all played out, I haven't been everywhere in the world, can't start anything she new. She wants a man that has been through and knows how to treat her right, knows what to do. So you're saying I can't and not treat a, a woman sin. right? I'm just saying you don't know how to, brother. I don't this think you. I don't think you want to be a teacher. I think you want someone that might be equal. Because you know it's not fun to teach a young dog some new tricks. Okay, that's great, Doctor Phil. You need to take your own advice. All right, look. You need to really take wow, me. Wow, Doctor Phil, that's a good one. I'm like, that's a good new, one, bro. Young, oh. fresh, genuine, oh. and not out of the book. Not and much. We can experience new things together. Not old things. He's already been been there, done that. Can you read? Can I read? You're talking about books. I'm just. What's the last book? What's highest grade you graduated? Oh, I got a college degree. And then you became a barber, making eight dollars a haircut. Eight dollars a haircut, bro. Twenty. That's not a way. Try twenty. Twenty. Yeah, twenty. Aristotle. Brilliant. Brilliant. Good job. Yeah, I didn't even know you knew how to say Aristotle. Oh really? Well, surprise. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> You're full of surprises, bro. Joanna's gonna pick me over Joel because she wants a man that knows what he wants and knows how to give it to her. Will it be Joel or Jason? Joanna's final cut is next. A limited. <laughs> okay, you guys, final round. I had so much fun. You guys are the biggest sweethearts and I wish I could take both of you guys to mom. Although I'm going to have to get rid of one of you guys and okay. it was so hard, so, so hard. I am going to have to go with Joel okay. because I want to be able to experience new things with someone who hasn't had the whole experience, you know what I mean? I understand. Kind of new memories. There's no hard feelings. Yeah, so. I had a great time. You're such a sweetheart. Thank you. All right, I'll tell you these, man. Thanks. You guys have a wonderful night. Joanna is missing out on a great guy who likes to have fun and can take her places that she's never been before. The best game is no game, and that's Joel. So, short and sweet, and that's how I liked it. I think Joanne and Joel might actually make an okay couple. They're both new in the game and fresh and young. She's not ready for a player like me, I guess.